Man, how do we think? This clip opens me up to think about how I think. Am I binary? Am I thinking? Do I think that if I'm for one thing, that means I'm absolutely against another? But it seems like that in this race-torn country, that if you're pro, one life matters, you're anti, the other life matters. And I've, we've seen hashtag all types of lives matter. But for the believer, might we put hashtag Amago Day matters. And in that, we recognize the inherent value of all human lives. The gospel calls us to this. And so the celebration of one particular life mattering and the silence on another particular life mattering is inconsistent with, with, with real empathy that we should have as believers in this country in the middle of race-torn dividedness. So check out this next clip by Pastor Brandon as he leads us. So one of the complications in, a, in America is that we are proud of being a binary culture. So to be for something, by definition, to us means that we're against something. Yeah. And the complication I have is the, the, the foundation upon which my statements regarding the shootings in Minnesota and Louisiana, the, the foundation upon which it rests is the Imago Day the inherent value of the men who were on the receiving end of the shootings. In fact, the struggle, the reason I stepped away from Facebook for a while is in the second video when Philando Castile was killed, I struggled with being the police officer who keeps my gun trained on a man whom I just shot. Instead of rendering aid, and I'm not saying that because he was a black man, He's a man. He is an, an image bearer, is dying, and he is dying at my hand. How can I not do all I can? It, how can I not selfishly seek to save his life so that I can avoid living the rest of my life having killed a man? In that moment, it was absolutely necessary to, to affirm, to emphasize the humanity of the man sitting in a car, wearing a seat belt with a four-year-old in the back seat. And at no point was it my intention for anyone to read into that, he's better than the man who shot him. I war against the binary perspective we have on this. So much so that on Thursday, I appealed to the same doctrine, the inherent value of human beings, to address the police officers who were killed in Dallas. But let me point something out to you. People who were silent when I said it about Philando Castile celebrated when I said it about the shooting in Dallas. And one of the things I cannot help but consider is do we consider this group more image bearers than this. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. I'm not saying that anyone does that overtly. I'm not saying that anyone, I know that people do it overtly, but I'm not saying that, that everyone who responded was being intentional. I'm not saying it was strategic. I'm saying that subconsciously, as a part of who we are, how we've been trained, do we see this people group as inherently value, valuable, and these as a bunch of people who are resisting and therefore are worthy of shooting. 